Hello friends, this is us according to a secondary source and if you want to use the relatively new Hex Pentimento, I might have found one of the more cruel ways uh, where you can do that. So this is a perk from the artist. Uh, long story short, you don't want to use this by itself because it's largely useless. You want to bring this along with other hexes and if survivors cleanse and break totems, you can quickly walk to the corpses of the bones and relate them very quickly. Every time you do this, you gain a token up to five. You're almost never going to get five or four or even three, but as long as you keep one or two on and off throughout a match, it's very uh, very powerful because it slaps them with a minus 30 speed and minus 30 speed to uh, repairs and healing. Now the healing part for Plague is not that big of a deal, but still it is very powerful. And the thing about Plague, is that hexes are really strong on her and she can puke on totems. So every time you relit one of these rekindled totems, you can immediately puke on it. So for that reason, uh, we are running this on a tried and, on a tried and tested uh, build of Ruin, Undying and Retribution with an apple so that we have two fountains and we can play extremely aggressive. And we're gonna bring the Hematite Seal so that our puking on objects lasts another 30 seconds for a total of 70 seconds, a minute and 10 seconds, which is a very long time. With this, you guarantee that people will be infected. You guarantee that you have a strong early game. And the way Ruin and Dying is very simple. The way they work, you play super aggressively, you push them off gens, and if they want to do totems, they'll need to get at least Undying done first. Then they might get Ruin, maybe, or it could be Retribution. And then they would still have to do a third to get ruined. And no matter what, whether it's two totems or three totems, when they cleanse any of these totems, and then obviously the ones that you rekindle, Retribution will show you the RS of everyone for 45 seconds. It will also make the per the people cleansing oblivious, which against play could be really dangerous. All in all, it's an extremely mean build, and it worked out so well that in the video that you're gonna watch, uh, yeah, uh, we barely got to use it. But yeah, hopefully you get an idea of how strong this can potentially be. Uh, on with the gameplay, do enjoy. Thank you so much for watching. Oh, the game. Mm. Tough to find totems for them. Tough for me to react too much. Oh, 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 do I do a chat move and just drink up immediately? If I do this, 95% chance they start hiding right away. But we find them anywhere. Oh, we found them anywhere. They pre dropped some palaces, it's not so good. Oh, they're on the run. They're not. That hard? That's a massacre waiting to happen. For whoever asks if Retribution is really that good, I hope this helps to answer it. That was another dead heart. Alright, fair enough. We'll take that. If they drop through that hole and drop this pallet, incredible play. They didn't. Still, two people injured, no one infected, but we can we can help that. And hopefully if the last gen, if the first gen's not popped, we can help it too. Don't forget to do that after hooks. Let's check. If I were them up, oh. Oh, oh. I could interrupt that actually. If, it, if she calls it out, it stays infected for another 70 seconds. Nice. We say hello to Claudette again. Hello. Hiya. Good enough. Let nature run its course. No. Don't puke on the body. Alright. Good enough. Did we actually hit the body? Yeah. They're going to unhook. Wait. They didn't unhook. They actually cleansed. The, the Fangman cleansed immediately. She's going back. If she goes back, there is a, a technique that you can do to shoot through the person in the hook. Is she fully infected? Not. How much infection did I get? 60. She's close. 80% uh, or so, I think. There you go. I, I, I have another theory. It's been a while since I played Plague, sorry. Um, where you get points from how much percentage you actually infected a survivor. 
Uh, one of them is fixed, the other one is variable. The, if the variable one is close to 85, I think, you can tell exactly the percentage of the infection, which is huge because typically you don't get to see that. So if you puke on a survivor a lot and you don't know exactly how much you actually did, you look at the number. And then you can tell if you're very close and it's worth pursuing or if you're not and... Oh, she makes that. We just break it. A little, little sidestep there. Why is the red bomb it now? Um, you have a power that you pick up um, from those white phantoms that are limited. They create them if they heal too, so it's a back and forth. And if your power is red, then the survivors are dead. Is the long story short. Let me demonstrate. But this is a very long, a very good part of the map actually. Oh wow. I think she's gonna beat me and now she's in a good spot actually. Oh, but there were two people here. She might have dead hearted that and lift, but she did not. They haven't done my totems yet, and when they do, we'll just hit them with Pentimento and take it easy. She has that heart, don't forget. Oh! You too? No, you don't. Show. Do you think we can catch her there? It's a bit risky, isn't it? Oh, she went back! Uh, let's pick up this girl and be happy with this. Like, I feel like that other girl's out of the up. We can keep her close to this what? To this other white phantom and then they're in trouble. Nice! The person that wasn't infected picked up the people from the ground. The person from the ground. And then they themselves got infected because they're fully infected. Very good, very good. Oh, ultra mega aggressive. We will sell them out. They'll start cleansing eventually. Oh, they drop from up there. They kind of fake that, possibly. How do, how do I get down? Oh. I could have reinfected this totem or something. This is a good room. Like, if they go into that window and stuff, that's rough. I go back up. She's gonna die so soon and no one's cleansed to come and get her. But, you know, I don't need to camp her, but at the same time, I don't need to go away to make it easy for them. Uh, they were at the bathroom. Oh, yeah, I would go back if I were them, maybe. I'm so sorry. That gem was nearly done. They must be quite upset. Ruin now. Starts eating it. Do I do basement? No, 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 no. I'll break that pallet maybe though. If she was not infected, quick puke on her. Any totem you see, especially with the add-on that I have, the what is it called? Hematid seal or something? I don't know. It's the yellow one. Hey, nice, nice, nice. Where's everyone? Where's the other person? The other person? In a locker? Behind a gen. Needs to be- has to be behind that gen. Okay, now I do this. And that- Wait, it's still infected! Well, it resets it. They have to be behind this. Or else I don't get it. Okay. But yeah, now if they get rid of that, okay. I can do this too. Oh, wait. <laughs> there you go. And now, it's what, 70 seconds of- They touch that totem, and they get infected, or they don't, and- yeah, that's rough, right? And I guess that if you had the if you had the add-on, the, the tablet that makes survivors get infected passively quicker, if they do one whole totem, they're already almost injured. Just from the totem alone. Yeah, I feel like Pentimental I like it. This build is out of the evil on Plague. And it's isn't this the build that we used for the million win streak? That went on forever? Yeah, well with Pentimento it's even dirtier if you really really want it. They who they all died? Well, you know, theoretically, yeah, but they're doing the smarter thing, which is to just go for the hatch. Oh, scratch. I'm so sorry. You can find it for you. Do you think you even need a ruin undying if you're running Pentimento? Yes, you need undying because that guarantees at least two totem cleanses. Like, like listen, uh, hear me out. Okay, dude. 
I tried. Um, if you have Thrill the Hunt to slow down Pentimento, Pentimento, and then Ruin, and then Retribution, imagine that they do your Ruin first, which is unlikely, but it can happen. Then they do your Ruin, they ignore your Retribution, does nothing. They ignore the other totems, does nothing. Maybe they, maybe you add Pentimento once, they remove it, does nothing. But if you have Ruin and Dying, they need to do Ruin and Undying. And in though, or, you know, and best case scenario, that's two Retributions that you get. And two chances to use Pentimento, and two chances to puke on Pentimento. Now the best they can do is just to be incredibly good loopers and make it so that Ruin, they just ignore, ignore the totems completely. Completely ignore the totems. So you pick up your red puke like we did aggressively. Oh, sorry. Uh, pick up red puke aggressively. And they just take you to a building where you cannot use it ever. They use Dead Heart super well, they use Spine Chill, Resilience, whatever. They, they just make it super, super hard, loop everything super, super tight. And then you lose your red puke or something. They had three circles of healings against a plague. Oof, that is rough. Maybe, maybe we struck a nerf. I don't know what they mean though. That wasn't that a good game? No, I guess not. When was the last time the devs added perks to the perk pool that didn't belong to a killer? Nah, they don't want to do that. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know why, but every time I play against a group of survivors that all have the same perks, that all play the exact same way, one of them always thinks that they're better than the rest. I don't know, man. Like, do you see anyone in this lobby that was incredibly good? I don't know. Like, I'm sure that some of them, you know, were a bit unluckier than others, but... Yeah, I don't have that attitude. Kind of sad.